Have you ever tried caramelized shallots? And I mean truly caramelized shallots. They are sweet and jammy and they have that, that consistent caramel color, not burnt. They're just perfect. They are enlightened shallots. They have truly transcended themselves. That's hard to say, transcended themselves. <laughs> I'm not joking because they are actually molecularly different than where they started from. Because when you caramelize something, it undergoes molecular changes and it actually changes in being. And to master these gorgeous, scrumptious little shallots, you only need a few ingredients and mindfulness. Some will say that you need patience to caramelize a shallot or cabbage or onion, but what you really need is mindfulness. Hi, I'm Stevie Lynn and welcome to my channel where I combine two of my favorite things, food and thought. But I also make retro recipes and I like to conduct food experiments, <laughs> all while offering a, a side of thought. Now that thought might be personal development, could be philosophy, could be a little food science, some history. I don't know what it will be, but it will be thoughtful. If that sounds curious and curiouser to you, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a video. I, I do plan on uploading videos on Saturdays or actually Wednesdays and Saturdays, but I may upload some extra videos as well and you definitely want to be notified. I, I'm now let's mindfully make some caramelized shallots. So the first thing you need to do is peel your shallots and I like to cut off both ends. And then I just take a knife and slice through the skin, peel it off. It's easier if you just go a little bit into the skin. If, if you cut them in half, it, it's just harder. And then I cut the shallots lengthwise. So I start in the middle and then I turn over each half and just continue slicing them front to end. It gets a little weird. At <laughs> I'm not the greatest. My knife skills aren't the greatest. All right, so I got a lot of shallots here. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. I was gonna make French onion soup tonight, but I think that I am I'm, I have a hankering, I'm really hungry, and I have a hankering for a caramelized shallot grilled cheese sandwich. Does that not sound incredible? I don't mean to get religious or anything, but like, what a divine gift food is. I mean, how amazing it is that we have, that we were given tongues and noses and all the beautiful things that allow us such pleasure. <laughs> so I'm going to throw all of these shallots in here. I'm starting with a cold pan, okay? And I have, I imagine about two pounds of shallots in here. Now I'm gonna add water. This was about a cup of water. And I'm gonna add some vegetable oil. That's probably about a tablespoon. I want to add a little bit more. So add about another tablespoon of oil and some salt. Okay. 
here I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of salt and we're gonna turn the burner all the way up to high and we need a wooden spoon and something so that we could see the bottom of it to see when it browns. Tongs would work, but um, I'm very minimalist. I don't buy it if I don't need it. And I haven't needed tongs since 1978. That's when I got these probably. I, think I probably stole these from my parents when I left home. <laughs> and I'm 51 now. This is on high, and we are just, oh, there's a little, how do those little skin bits get get in there? I don't want skin bits in there. Hi. And we're just waiting for it to start steaming. It's starting to sizzle, it's starting to sing. <laughs> okay, there's steam bellowing up, so we are now going to close that we keep it on high set our timer for 10 minutes and just I don't know go do something fun I'm gonna go do push-ups now it smells like something's going on this is a good time to use your senses too yep we got some browning Now I'm tamping the shallots down so that they are in a single layer down at the bottom of the pan to ensure more even browning. Okay, now we're gonna turn down the heat low. Because it's really starting to brown now. And you don't want it burnt because you'll get some bitterness to it. So now we're just going to keep stirring it. I'm going to put the butter in. That's about, I don't know, what would you say? A couple tablespoons of butter? Throw that. Because now that the heat is low, we don't have to worry about the butter burning. That's why we put the butter in later. Gosh, this looks so good. Like I was going to make like French shallot soup tonight. It's a nice day. It's kind of a warm. It's not really a soup day. And who are we kidding ourselves? Are we really being that healthy by turning it into soup? Is there really a big difference between uh, like a grilled cheese sandwich and French onion soup? Not really. The only difference is water. <laughs> We're still using the bread. We're still using the cheese. We're still using the caramelized goodies that you really want to make sure of because it will start walking up the walls of this. Especially when you have such a high pot, like a high sided pot. You don't want, you want to chase them back down into the pan because they can get up there and burn. You can inadvertently put them back into the shallot mixture and then everything becomes tainted. I never exactly know how long it takes because I'm just, I'm just in the moment. This is like, I'm in the now. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just here enjoying the aromas, the textures. It's not really, I, I, like, it's just, I'm in a state of timelessness. Look at that. Oh. Oh, I don't know when to quit. I'm going to put some, a little bit of balsamic vinegar in this. Maybe about half a teaspoon, maybe. And we're almost done. We really are almost done. This actually came about quicker than I expected. Um, maybe because they're shallots. I've never done shallots this way. I've done onions this way it's from from the big from the time I put them in the pot until now it's been 
only like 30 minutes. Jammy and just and look at that. Holy cow. Look how jammy and yummy they are. My husband's going to reward me tonight. <laughs> Do they need anything? No, they need nothing. That's perfect. This is like, this is so perfect. This is amazing. This is, oh my God. Okay, time to do a thumbnail shot. <laughs> I'm so bad at thumbnails. I'm turning it off because I don't know. What do you think? <sighs> More thumbnails. <gasps> I'm dying here. It's like candy. It's like dessert. This is literally like the best thing ever. Okay, I need to make grilled cheese now. Thank you so much for joining me today. It really means a lot to me and I had so much fun. I hope you did too. If you did, please consider hitting that like button. It really encourages me and it also encourages YouTube to show my videos to more people. And I will be seeing you real soon, just in a couple of days.